In this video, I'll be showing you how to enable the all new access controls feature for BuddyBoss app. This is a very powerful new feature, allowing you to restrict who can log into your app and to control which members have access to your app pages, WordPress pages, blog posts, and Learn Dash courses. This feature also adds the ability to set custom tab bar and more screen menus based on whether a member is logged in or logged out and based on their membership level and other criteria. With that, let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app, Settings, Labs. We are releasing access controls as our first BuddyBoss Labs feature in BuddyBoss app. And depending on when you watch this video, this step may or may not be necessary. Right now at launch, this feature can only be enabled through BuddyBoss Labs. But at some point in the future, this won't be a requirement anymore and you will be able to activate access controls from the components menu. BuddyBoss Labs is a new way for us to give customers early access to an app feature where you can try it and opt into it and experiment with it in your own time. If you don't want to use the feature yet, you can still use the latest version of BuddyBoss app and it just won't have this new feature. The reason we are releasing this under Labs is that Access Control is a substantial addition to BuddyBoss app that will change how your members interact with your content in a significant way. This feature restricts access based on many conditions and integrates with multiple membership plugins and we want to make sure it all works perfectly in various app setups before we launch it without requiring Labs. By releasing this as an opt-in feature under Labs, it gives you time to test it on your site before enabling it into your release app. If you're a developer, you can click this link to read their documentation for creating your own custom conditions for filtering which members can access restricted content. So let's go ahead and enable access controls for the BuddyBoss app. You may get this modal, warning you that you're currently using the required purchase setting to restrict access to your app's content to members who have purchased the required products or subscriptions. This functionality is now provided by access controls. After activating, you will need to set up access groups and rules to maintain the same user experience. To find out how to migrate, watch this tutorial. I would suggest clicking this link to watch the tutorial before activating access controls. And then after you've activated access controls, you can follow that tutorial to migrate your required purchase settings into access controls. I'll go ahead and click activate, and now the option is checked. Then let's click on save changes. And now, access controls has been activated. You should now see a new settings area for access controls. And you can click here to configure your access groups and rules. We have other video tutorials showing you how to configure all of these settings, so please make sure to watch those to guide you through setting up your access groups and access rules in your app. 